will be key to getting a decent result at White Hart Lane? Well, a number of things. I mean, we're going to have to perform to a maximum, that's for sure, because Tottenham are, you know, the form team in the league. Harry's done a magnificent job. The, the addition of Adebayor has given them, I think, an extra dimension. And, uh, you know, if you, you only had to look last week. I mean, I mentioned earlier about if some obviously players are missing for us, it's difficult to replace that sort of calibre. You know, Van der Vaart missed out last week and Jermaine Defoe came in. You know, an absolutely outstanding top striker. So, uh, you know, they have the luxury of not only a quality team, but unbelievable strength and depth. And that's why I believe that they'll, they'll challenge on all fronts. Uh, you know, they're really, you know, uh, I think they did the, what was perceived to be a slow start for them in the first few games. And now I think is it nine wins in a draw from the last ten games, uh, flying up the league and uh, and looking, as I say, to, to be in at the top end, fighting out for, obviously, Champions League and even title aspirations. Do you think they can win the title? I well, mean, I, I seem to think so. Well, I think if, if they stay, you know, that they keep that squad together and, you know, everything goes away, suspensions and everything else, of course they can, because they've shown on, on their day they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody, but not only, you know, every now and again, on a game-to-game -game basis, consistently over the duration of a 38-game season, I believe if they stay, you know, injury-free and, and suspension-free, then they'll have as good a chance as anybody. Were you players wear black on bands at White Hart Lane in memory of the late Gary Speed? Yeah, well, I think it's, it's, it's so important that, you know, we all want to win football games and we love our football and everything else, but when something like that happens with the, with the passing of Gary, I think that, that gives you uh, a perspective and you realise what's, what's important and I think it was a sad day for uh, for everybody, but first and foremost his family. And I think it's important that you know everybody's thoughts are with them in this, in this difficult time. And you know Gary brought so much to every football club he was at, and not only the football club, but the, but the people he came into contact with, because he was a, a, a lovely character. I always seen him with a smile on his face, and uh, and uh, of course I think that's a sad time for everybody involved. And, and I think it's important that you know we allow his, his, his family the time they need to to, to deal with that. I know many people that you work with here at the football club have worked with Gary when he was here with Big Sam during the middle of the last decade. What's the overriding feeling what, and what are the overriding memories that you've heard other people talk about this week? Well, I think, uh, you know, as, as sad a time as it is and, and it's difficult, I think the one thing when, when somebody mentions his name, then, then what you see is a smile on somebody's face because they obviously have a very good memory uh, of, you know, whether they met him fleetingly or whether they spent a lot of time with him. And I think that tells you everything about him, how he was as a man. And, uh, and there's no doubt it's, it's such a sad time.